one. This is a quick video to sh demonstrate ASTM D4543 um, specimen pre preparation uh, to run uniaxial compression tests on rock cores. Uh, the first thing that we'll want to do is check the side straightness. That's done by laying the core on a flat surface. We have a flat stone here. We're going to use a um, feeler gauge set at 0 0.020 inches. And what we're going to be looking for is gaps in the between the uh, side of the core and the flat surface. If the feeler gauge goes through, we'll note that the, the specimen does not meet the side wall uh, straightness requirements of the, of the standard. The next item we would want to do is run a uh, flatness test or flatness uh, determination of both sides of the core. We've already taken uh, this core and marked it off. These, uh, these are marked off in 1 8 inch increments. Um, we normally will uh, uh, plot, uh, use a, um, a system to determine the center of the core, which we've shown here to make it a little bit easier. Three cords, bisecting those cords to, to find the center of the, um, of the center of the core. Then we'll uh, use a compass or uh, a scribe to determine the, uh, the, the uh, two diameters, which we're referring to as A and B. The core then is flipped over and uh, those lines are extended down to the other side. So we do this on both sides. You see the markings on the core. We have a flat a stone here, a dial gauge, a V-block. Core is set in there to a point where it cannot move back. We're going to set the core against the straight edge here and rotate it so we pass the, uh, so the, as we move it, it, uh, the tip of the dial gauge will move along the axis of the core. Um, we're going to set the first reading at the center and we'll mark that as zero and then we will move this gauge in both directions this way one eighth inch and record the reading. Making sure that we have good contact between the V-block and the plate here. Once we get through all these readings on this axis, the core is rotated 90 degrees and we repeat the process. Again, going back to the center of the core, setting the dial gauge to zero, and once again taking the readings every eighth of an inch. When this is completed, the core is flipped over and we re repeat the process for the, the, um, the other end of the core. Those readings are then plugged into a spreadsheet which we developed and we've sent to you for your approval. And um, the information there is calculated uh, and whether the core meets or does not meet the flatness and perpendicular uh, requirements.